Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and I'd like to talk about what we saw in that live stream a little bit, and maybe talk about some of the good, some of the things that weren't so good, and some of the things that had me concerned. Um, so, all in all, I thought it was a pretty good live stream. I thought Cage and Kim did a fantastic job. I was loving the whole, did you change your shirt, and then Kim wearing the flames on her face, or not wearing it, but having flames. That was pretty freaking cool. I gotta admit, I really loved it. Um... But, you know, we did have some surprises, namely uh, Moon Knight here is getting a uniform, which I just freaking thought looked awesome. Um, these three characters are also getting some love. Blade's getting a uniform. Ghost Rider's getting a uniform. I don't think Elsa's getting one. I didn't see one in the live stream. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I did not see a new uniform for this girl. All the gameplay that I saw, she was wearing this. But... She is getting an awakened skill, so is Morbius and Moon Knight. So three characters getting awakened skills, which is definitely kind of, uh, it's cool, but man, that's a lot, a lot of resources that we're going to need to bump them up. Now, we don't need all those resources right away. We don't need to level up all these characters immediately. But just if, they, I mean, if Netbar was going to slam out that many awakened characters in one update, uh, they really need, you know, if, if this is going to be a continuous thing, they really are definitely going to be needing to give us more resources. You know, it's a little concerning when I see three awakened characters. Now, I realize that some of these characters are going to be coming out later, like Blade and Elsa and Moon Knight. They're coming later and Ghost Rider. You know, all we're going to get is Dormammu and Doctor Strange and scarlet spider and morbius right off the get-go and you know as far as like dormammu i thought his uniform was i mean i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you guys i thought it was kind of kind of fugly uh it wasn't it was okay i thought his face looked pretty cool but really i think this here looks a lot better that's just my opinion it's just a cosmetic thing it's not a big deal as long as he's strong i don't care as long as he's strong it doesn't matter I just want him to be OP. I thought Doctor Strange looked dope. Evidently, they're going to keep the reset cooldowns on this guy. So that means, again, we're probably going to be spamming the hell out of his skills, which is unfortunately kind of a bummer to me. So, yeah, we'll see how relevant he's going to be. We all know how strong Doctor Strange is. But if he's going to be where he is right now, I'll probably just... Well, I probably won't even have an obelisk on him, except for maybe a couple of videos that I put out after he gets the uniform. Uh, and I'll probably end up taking the obelisk right back off him because he just doesn't need it. If we're just doing stage 50s. Moon Knight, I thought his uniform looked freaking awesome. I thought it looked amazing. I was, oh my God, I was down for this one here. And Ghost Rider looked amazing. Blade was kind of bulky. It didn't really feel like Blade. Uh, I mean, I really like the, the leather cloak look, like what Wesley Snipes wore in the movies. Man, that's my favorite version of Blade. Uh, this is all right itself, but that would have been really cool. I realized they're... You know, doing, trying to do some different stuff and maybe do things from the comic itself. But I don't know. I didn't really care for it. But you know what? Again, just like Dormammu, who cares? As long as Blade's strong, I don't care. As long as he's strong, I could care less about that uniform as far as how it looks. As long as it's good. It's a shame I didn't. we didn't see a uniform for Elsa. I think, uh, but she might get one. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know what they're going to be doing. So, you know, so one concern I have is the resource problem you know and then another reason i bring up the resources is they showed us abx in the live stream and it looked cool it looked freaking fantastic there's all kinds of crazy things going on you've seen the bar up at the top changing changing colors like getting a cold streak across it it was freaking cool i was loving the hell out of it i was like man this this looks dope but the thing that i noticed and maybe some of you noticed something different is the rewards were the same. I did not see an improvement in rewards, and that is very concerning to me because, well, if they're going to introduce all these new effects where it's burn and paralyze and silence now that can cancel the beast roar so it doesn't decrease damage received from you, well, that means we're going to have to be building a lot more characters. You're going to have to be building up characters, maxing them out, putting this kind of crap on them, putting a CTP rage on them, giving them Uru's, awakening them, and maybe even Odin's blessings and all that crap, taking uniforms to Mythic, you know, and this is a native tier 2 uniform. And here's the thing. They added 
flame or are they added burn as far as what can be an effect against the beast guess who has burn guess who has burn that's right this guy and ghost rider but i'm pretty sure it's going to be this guy and and I'm, i know i'm gonna stray out the subject a little bit but something i gotta note real quick in the live stream they were saying that dormammu here is going to be good for pvp and pve really he's going to be good for both so he's going to be a very versatile character that's amazing that is freaking awesome loving the hell out of that but here's the problem we got one obelisk slot net marble i mean if you're going to create characters that use both uh that we can use characters for both pve and pvp competitively then you should give us two damn slots it's really a bunch of crap that people have to unequip the damn obelisk put the other obelisk back on pay 600 crystals unequip it put another one back on just give us two slots happy customers mean that you're going to make more money and you guys doing this, I mean, it just, I mean, it hinders all of us. You know, some of us would like to play him in PvP, but we can't. And, you know, I'm not a big PvP guy. Maybe I would be if we had two freaking slots here where I could, where we could easily just, go oh, just like it here in Ice Oasis. We could just click on a little thing here and boom, we have another obelisk slot. Why don't you implement this? If you're going to give us these OP characters, which I'm assuming he's going to be OP, his tier 3 looked freaking fantastic. I was loving it. His skills look pretty cool. But this guy is a native tier 2. This guy costs a crap ton of BAM and BIOS. His uniform is going to be godly expensive to rank up. And then you guys throw in that little burn effect. Yeah, a little. So that way you could you know, monetize ABX a little bit more, right? Well, the thing is, we need these two slots. We need these two slots. Absolutely, it's an absolute must. And we've been asking for this for months. So why it's taking so long to put it in here, I don't know. The other thing that's concerning to me is, you know, they're adding these effects, right? And I love it, guys. I love it. I, I made a video about this saying, I want to see different effects that affect the beast roar. And I'm happy to see it. I'm ecstatic. I can't wait to play ABX. I can't wait. But a couple problems is, if you're going to give us the same rewards but make us build more characters for the same rewards? Well, that's a bunch of crap. And that would be a complete cash grab. We would all see right through it. You know, we all know you're trying to make money. We all know you chose ABX because you can monetize it. We know that. But you need to give us better rewards. There's got to be some give and take here. There's got to be give and take. And since we are the customers, since we are the ones playing the game, since we are the ones buying everything in the game, those of us that are spending money, you should be taking care of us. You should give us the two obelisk slots so we can play our character for PvP or PvE. It would actually make a lot more characters more relevant, to be perfectly honest. Instead of having one type of build for each character, you could actually have two different builds for each character just by the switch of a button, which would be freaking awesome. But if you're going to make us build more characters for ABX, then you damn well should be giving us more rewards. Now, you know, I, I'm so happy like with what ABX look like. Man, it looks so cool. I'm happy with the new characters. But there, there's another thing, you know, I mean, where are we going to use the characters? I have no idea. But we'll see. We'll see. You know, uh, you know, the fact that moon knight and elsa and morbius are all getting awakened skills we'll see they'll probably end up throwing those in the story mode that way we're more motivated to pick them up but again if you're not giving us enough rewards to pick these characters up then well a lot of them are just going to sit on the old shelf you know until people can get the resources up and by the time they do get the resources up to build the character well then they're going to be outdated and there's going to be a whole lot better characters out there you know, that's really the problem with Future Fight. It's always been rewards, rewards, rewards. And I know other YouTubers have complained about this too. You know, it's nothing new that we bring this up. You know, ABX looks fantastic. But you got to give us better rewards. If what I saw in that live stream comes to fruition in the actual update, there's going to be some hell. You know, I guarantee every single YouTuber, I guarantee... We will all band together on that one and say, what the hell are you doing, that marble? Why are you not giving us better rewards when you're asking us to build more characters for this game mode? Using way more resources, grinding a whole lot more. For what? For what? To be competitive. Now, I play ABX, 
And I'll probably try to level up all the characters because I love playing ABX. I'm an ABX focused player, but not everybody out there is. And I sure would like to see more people be motivated to play the damn game mode. Danger Room, they didn't show Danger Room in the live stream, so I don't really have anything to say about it. But they better get better rewards than that as well. Because if they're going to introduce Danger Room Extreme and there's not better rewards, then, well, that's going to be a pile too and it's going to fade. All these game modes that they work so hard to change and develop, these reworks, if they're not giving better rewards, people are not going to play them. It's not worth their time to play them. So it's I know I know I sound like I'm being a bit negative. I believe me, I'm excited for this. I'm I'm stoked that Dormammu's getting a tier three. I'm stoked that Doctor Strange getting this new uniform. I'm super stoked. Honestly, guys, I'm more excited about Moon Knight getting a uniform. I'm really super excited about these two guys getting the uniforms. I'm excited about even even their awakened skills, getting awakened skills on some of these characters. I'm excited. I'm excited about Morbius, Scarlet Spider. I'm excited about all of them. And by the way, speaking of Scarlet Spider, you know, the fact that they mentioned he's going to be a support for Spider-Sense characters, that tells me more than likely he's probably going to be a good Shadowland character, and he's just going to be a support. And the, the problem with supports these days is he's only going to be a niche support for them, which is still okay, but... We have plenty of supports already in the game. So, I don't know what to really think about that. We'll see. I just hope they're good. I just hope they're all freaking amazing. I have pretty good feeling about these two. And Morbius for sure. Moon Knight, I have no idea. Ghost Rider and Blade, I have no idea. Elsa, I have no idea. Let them be great. Hopefully, they are giving Elsa a uniform. Maybe I didn't see it in the live stream. I hope they do. Because she absolutely deserves one. She is not a very good character. Although she was an ABX meta back in the day. And these two have never been crap. So I, we better see some love for these two. Big time. We better see some love for them. And Moon Knight, he was actually an ABX meta too. But I still want him to be great as well. Because all four of those characters we just mentioned aren't very good. So let me know how you're all feeling about the live stream. Do you have kind of like mixed feelings about it? You're, you're not really sure. Like you're kind of like me where you're excited because we're getting these new characters and we're getting these new uniforms. But are you a little concerned and maybe even a little worried that all Netmarble is really trying to do is cash some money in? You know, just trying to give us more characters to build for the same st stupid rewards when they really should be improving the rewards for our extra effort in developing more of these characters. It can't be all about fun. Again, let me know how you're all feeling about it. Let me know how you're feeling about what I said, whether you agree or disagree. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.